right. Looks like we're live. Awesome. Hi. <laughs> Sweet. So, um, yeah. yeah, thank you everyone that's been, uh, been waiting. Um, and uh, we have a, a special guest today. We wanted to um, introduce Jason Wong to the community. Um, if you don't know, we ran a challenge called the Gravity Sketch Car Design Challenge. And uh, it's basically a challenge that we offered up to anyone to send in a, a simple car sketch. Um, didn't have to be anything fancy. And, and essentially, um, the judges would look at these sketches and decide the winner, and then the winner would be able to work with these judges to develop their design in 3D in Gravity Sketch VR. And so, uh, and the judges are, um, we, we tried to pick some, some pretty big stakeholders. So we have uh, Scott Robertson, we've got Frank Stevenson, and we've got Eric Stoddard, who are just amazing, incredible, um, world-renowned designers. And so uh, it's, been, it's been pretty cool already seeing what, what Jason's been up to. And, um, and we also just want to say like, you know, there was a lot of really great submissions. Ultimately we had to pick one, right? So, um, we'll be also sharing the, uh, the session with the judges picking the designs as well at, at a future date. So, um, yeah, we'll be following Jason along his progress and, and, and everything he's been doing. Um, he's been working mostly with uh, Eric Stoddard developing, um, developing the car in, in VR. Eric Stoddard is, uh, Founder of CarDesign.academy, and um, and he runs a, uh, a, a training courses on Gravity Sketch, and so he's the perfect person to bring Jason through through all of this. So, um, without further ado, uh, I'll just well, well one one thing I'll say if you if you haven't um, seen me before, my name is Jaron Dorman, and I'm the Design Community Manager at Gravity Sketch, and so I get to connect with all of you out there in the community. Um, without further ado, I will just give it over to you, Jason. If you want to just um, quickly introduce yourself, maybe tell people a little bit about who you are and, and maybe what your background is and, and, um, yeah, just tell people a little bit about who you are. Hi, hi everyone. Uh, my name is Jason Wong. Um, I, I'm a automotive and industrial freelance designer. I've been, uh, working uh, in the industry for five years now. Uh, previously my, past experience, I went to Coventry University for automotive design uh, for my bachelor degree. And then I continued my study in uh, IAD, uh, IAAD in Italy to continue my automotive study in uh, uh, master uh, in uh, Turin. And after that, I joined an um, uh, industrial company. And then I, I also responsible for a uh, Hong Kong uh, a sports car startup, a um, uh, first homegrown Hong Kong sports car, uh, uh, for 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 their first sports car sports car project. That's awesome. That's really really yeah. cool. So what's the name? Of, what's the name of that? Uh, you said it was a startup. Yeah. Um, what's the name of it? Uh, the project name is a uh, uh, KK. Uh, the project name is KK. Uh, the name hasn't revealed yet. So. Uh, okay. Yeah. Gotcha. That's very cool. Yeah. That's awesome. So you have some, you have some quite the experience, you know, quite the background in design already. Um, and that's another thing too, we weren't sure of, you know, when we were sending out uh, this challenge to the community is, is that, um, you know, it could be anyone from, uh, you know, someone that just loves drawing cars, but they've never gone to school or worked anywhere to someone that's in the industry. Um, and, and we were, you know, obviously you're hoping for, for someone that has a bit of an understanding of 3d. So I think, and I think you do, um, but yeah. not that you necessarily need that, you know, learning gravity sketch. Um, and that's actually another interesting detail is that you've never used gravity sketch before, um, in your work. Yes. <laughs> and so, yeah. um, and so that'll be really interesting. I'd love to hear a little bit about what that, what that's been like learning, learning gravity sketch for the first time. Um, and trying to take your, you know, your side sketch, basically, that's what you sent in, which is just like a side sketch. So, um, and, and translating that into 3D and, and Eric's been helping out with that. So, yes. um, so for the next part of this, we're actually just going to jump in VR and we're going to just have a look at the progress. Um, but, uh, we're going to be covering more, more progress. We're going to talk to Eric at a later time as well. Um, so, uh, there's a lot, there's a lot more to be seen, a lot more to be revealed. Tomorrow you have an official 
like review session with Scott and Frank um, on your progress. So yeah. that'll be exciting. Um, anyway, yeah, <laughs> I'm yeah. talking a lot. So uh, why don't we just go ahead and look at some cool stuff? Um, let's just hop over to VR real quick, Jason, and then um, we'll just look at what you've done so far. Yeah, sure. Switching over. Awesome. So we've got some, obviously, some sketches in here, um, some initial sculpting of the body. Yep. Really, really cool. Um, so I just want to ask you, Jason, just like right off the bat, you know, I mean, when you met with, uh, Eric, uh, in, in Gravity Sketch, I mean, what did you think when you started making stuff in Gravity Sketch? I mean, what, what were your thoughts? Um, I, I think it's amazing. Um, this, um, v, the whole VR experience I've never experienced before, uh, is very immersive. It's very really intuitive and uh, it's really handy. Uh, I think um, Eric taught me everything in VR, basically. Uh, like uh, virtually, he, he like um, virtually he, he was like stood by me uh, and then teach me everything that I need to know to get started with. So um, yeah, uh, I think just a second. I think I have. Uh, uh, I need to. Uh, just the, the computer. Okay, sure. Yeah, you, your headset in VR is, is still so. Um, yeah, I think that's okay. It's, yeah. Yeah, feel free Maybe to work it out. Connection from from my side. <laughs> yeah, no worries, no worries. And everybody's seeing what I'm seeing, so um, you know, at the, at, at the at the very least, they're getting to see what's in here. Um, so, I, from I, from my understanding. Um, uh, so this was the original sketch here that you sent in, um, and the judges were looking at this, and I think just really loved, from what I remember, just like there was a balance of a unique design direction, but also there was enough left unsaid that could be solved or could be figured out in 3D. Um, yeah. It's almost like there's a little bit that can be described at the rear. It's not completely defined, so it's almost like there's a chance for interpretation. Um, I guess in 3D, yeah. and so I think then after that, did did Eric ask you to send in more sketches? I think after that, is that what he wanted? Yeah, first of all, um, uh, for yeah. for this uh, first sketch, uh, I yeah. have imagined the car would be a uh, uh, first first thing I came up with my mind was like a seventies Italian sports car. Mm. Uh, but not just a normal Italian sports car. I imagine it was a really aggressive, brutal, yet a uh, really classy, really soft surface at the front, and then you have a really exposed, extreme rear end. Uh, so um, Eric uh, uh, has a, a, uh, started with the size, size gash, and then um, he asked me to uh, produce more views of the of the other side, so um, yeah, I have uh, some quick ideation from uh, other views as well. Um, I imagine the car very really low, uh, the rear end is really exposed. You can see all the mechanical stuff. Yeah, that's and really then, cool. Um, I love it. Yeah, somehow it's really uh, a sci-fi kind of styling at the rear, but you have a really classy, really sculpted front end. Yeah. So, yeah, basically we, we start with a sky ske uh, side sketch and then we uh, uh, just draw some lines. Uh, first of all, uh, the first thing is to draw out the, the side profile in graffiti sketch. It's really intuitive. Uh, you just use the ink, ink to, to, to line up uh, everything. And then you, yeah, the second thing is you have to get some uh, sense of 3D. Uh, and actually, it's, it's uh, kind of similar on the, on the 2D sketching process. And then, yeah, it's like every 3D uh, modeling 
software, you pull out the volume, you pull out the line, you build the wireframe, and then you build a run, and you have the volume. So, yeah, everything exciting here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's awesome. I mean, it's it's that's really cool that you've been able to pick it up so quickly, um, and it, it's yeah. it, that it's so intuitive for you. Um, I just, I'm just really loving this design. I just got to say, I'm, I'm, I'm a huge fan of this, uh, yeah. this, this design and this uh, aesthetic that you guys have got going on here. This is really cool. I can't not wait to see this and, you know, fully fleshed out in 3D. Um, but, uh, and I guess I want to ask you too. I want to talk a little bit about Colab. Yeah. You know, the thing that we're doing right now is we're, yeah. we're in virtual reality. You know, in, in a virtual space together. Obviously, you're in Hong Kong. I'm in Texas. Um, yeah. You know, I mean, it's it's kind of amazing. I mean, what what's what's it been like for you working that way virtually? You know, with Eric, um, you know, even you know, miles and kilometers apart. Yeah, I mean that's fantastic. As I have um, uh, mentioned earlier, like uh, uh, Eric was like virtually uh, standing next to me, taught me first of all like. Uh, because I was new to VR, I, I didn't know even know how to maneuver inside all the, yeah. uh, um, all the space in here. And then, yeah, he could just show me all the menus, all the, right. all the stuff I need. Uh, it's really intuitive and really um, yeah, immersive. I find it really fantastic. So, uh, yeah, That's awesome. it's an <laughs> amazing experience. That's great. That's great. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's um, it's yeah, it's pretty amazing that uh, it, I mean, it's I think we're, we're we're so familiar with it, especially the team, but it it still just amazes me that you know people can work you know in a basically in a very natural, real world, not real world, it's virtual, but it's it's you know it can be to scale, um, you know across across the globe, um, and I'm just gonna go ahead and say here that. Uh, if anybody is not aware, we've we've released this feature to everyone. So um, you can go and activate it uh, in VR, where uh, when you open up VR, you'll see the collab button. You'll click that, and you'll be able to create um, uh, create a room. There'll, there should be a pop up button, and then that's like your one room. So you actually only get one room. I'll just say, um, and I I like to tell people think of it as like an actual physical studio space. Um, so what you would do is you might have different collaborators, people coming in your studio space. Um, and so it's up to you to save your work locally. If you want to maybe keep other people from, from messing it up or, you know, you, just like you would normally do with a real space, you don't create, you know, endless, endless rooms, but you have just one studio and you keep everything organized. Um, cause people are asking, you know, can I make several rooms? Um, and for, with 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 the individual version, it's just one room, and so we I would encourage people just to use it as like you know a virtual or a, sorry a, a physical studio space. So, um, but that's available now to everybody, and you can go and use it. Invite your friends, anybody with a landing pad account. So yeah, go and start using Colab and start working with some people. Um, it's really really fun. <laughs> uh, yes. But yeah, I just you know I just think it's really cool, and I and I wanted to I mean this isn't really a long uh, interview. I just wanted to introduce you to everyone and and see what you've um, been working on with Eric, and uh, we're gonna be doing more of these and and getting a look at your progress and and seeing this thing grow. We also are gonna yeah. do like a comprehensive video at the end showing sort of the process from uh, the submissions that were sent in to the session that the um, that that the judges had looking through the different designs. So that'll be really exciting, I think, to tell the whole story. Yeah. But um, let me, if you could just tell me, Jason, what are you excited about moving forward, like uh, going through this challenge? What are you most looking forward to? Uh, I mean, like to building this in the virtual reality space is totally awesome to see it 3D so quickly. And then I think the best part is uh, you can uh, virtually work 
in a one-to-one -one scale. So you basically can sit inside, you can feel everything, you can feel the volume. Uh, I mean, this is already a, a, a really a plus point for me in the VR, VR experience. I'm really looking forward to see uh, uh, the, the final outcome of the model and see how, how it's going to be and looking forward to work with all three uh, judges in the later session and yeah they are amazing yeah yeah that'll be really fun yeah I can't wait yeah. to uh to see that session with with you and Eric Stoddard uh Scott Robertson yep. and Frank Stevenson those will be uh that'll be really cool um yeah and everybody else will be will get to see that at a later time as well um so well I just want to thank you Jason for your time and yeah, for thank you. Yeah, just talking talking a little bit about your progress and what you've done so far. Um, for everyone else out there, we'll we'll keep updating on the progress of uh, Jason and and his design and um, and Eric, you know, basically showing him the ropes of Gravity Sketch. Yes. Um, we'll also do an interview with, with Eric at a at a later time as well, getting his thoughts on on teaching Jason and um, and helping him take his sketches into uh, into three D. So. Um, yeah, thank you very much, Jason, and thank, thank you. you, everyone thank else. You, Gary. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course, and congratulations to you again. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> awesome. Thank you, Jerry. Of course. Um, all right. Well, thank you, everyone, and uh, we'll stay tuned, whereas we'll uh, re be releasing uh, more updates on the challenge. Okay. Bye now. See you later, guys. See you.